Today is the last day of my 60th year on this planet. Tomorrow's my birthday. And something really interesting happened, like in the subtlety of things. If you're hearing sounds around me, it's because I'm sitting on a terrace of the Whole Foods and there's a fountain and birds chirping and it's early in the morning. And what happened was that I brought the car to the garage, talked to the garagist, the, the garage guy, the mechanic, very cheerful guy. And then I grabbed my, my little day pack with whatever I'd need while I wait, closed the door of the truck, brought him the keys, and then I just put my backpack over my shoulder. And I started strolling over across the street to go sit here in the morning sun to wait for my car to be looked after. And the strangest feeling came to me as I was closing the door and handing my key and beginning to walk. It was like a sense of freedom. I felt like I was on vacation in a warm, foreign place, having risen early with the morning sun and having no commitment ahead and just feeling the moment and feeling free. And I thought, wow, that's really interesting. And I felt like, wow, this is the first time in such a long time that I felt like I was not going to feel guilty or feel like I should be doing something else or just be in the moment of sitting down on the terrace and just be. I was sitting here thinking, what is that feeling when we're on vacation and we feel like we're not supposed to be doing anything? And actually, there's a lot of vacation where we plan things every day. It's like, okay, let's pack up, let's go there, let's go hike, let's go explore and find a place to sit, find a place to eat. It's still kind of let's do things. And it's different when you go somewhere, and I think it's mostly in my, in my imagination, but I've lived it a few times in my life, uh, in Mexico and Jamaica and a few places I've been by myself. It's the idea that you have everything you need with you. You have a suitcase, you have a place to stay, and this is where the demands on you end. And I am embracing this end of my year thinking that it's time to drop and leave behind the emotional life patterns, stories, everything that I have carried now. It's just this reflection today that I'm really taken in the fact I want to, I will do this consciously of saying, leave those feelings of insecurity, financial difficulties, of unknown, of uncertainty, of not having a secure place over my head, of not being financially self-sufficient, of just longing for things and feeling like I'm not where I should be and I'm still striving and seeking. And I know it's not the end because obviously I have many things that I need to achieve. <laughs> It goes against everything I just said. But to get to that place, but I think the first step is just accepting to leave and drop all the weight in life, in the energy. And there are some, some moments, we can choose to do it every day, but there are some moments that are just like easier to put on the calendar and in the timeline of your life, where we can make this choice of saying, I release, I let go, I surrender, it was what it was, it is my past, this is a new beginning, and I make new choices. And this is what I wanted to share with you today that we can choose that. And that feeling of when we feel free, whatever those moments are for you, but in my imagination, it's what I felt this morning, leaving my keys in the hands of someone else, knowing things are getting taken care of. Ha, huh. it's like, let's give our key, the keys to God and say some things are broken and need fixing. And I know in other videos I said, you don't need fixing. 
but hey, ideas flow. And it's kind of part of the surrender saying, I don't need to fix anything. Let's leave our keys in the hands of God, in the hands of the universe and say, here, you take care of this. It needs tending to. And I will walk across the street with my small backpack, stroll slowly, go sit for a moment, knowing that my things, my life, my health is in the hands of someone who knows what they're doing and who know they are the right person because this is what they do. So let's stop trying to be the repairman and whatever, I'm losing my analogies here, but I think you get it. Let's leave our stuff in the hands of God, knowing that it's going to be taken, it is being taken care of, and sit, put our face up in the sun, and for a moment, tell ourselves all is well. This can be a new beginning. I've handed my troubles over, and somebody's looking into it. It's a moment of surrender. And I know I can't feel it 24 hours a day, but hey, when the moments come, let's at least be aware of them so that the neural pathways in our brain that are being created, that we can actually consciously visualize and feel them so that we can find our way again to that place, moment by moment walking on those paths, those neural pathways, and making them more and more defined. So let's be aware of these moments and do these things consciously once in a while. This is my wisdom after 60 years on this planet. Oh gosh, Annie, it's 59. Leave the keys with the mechanic and walk away. <laughs> I'll talk to you soon. I love you. Bye.